Asbestos yanked out of a ceiling where food is prepared for New Mexico school kids. That's the claim by a former state inspector and school workers. New tonight, state lawmakers demanding to know why parents have been kept in the dark for years. Target 7 investigative reporter Nancy Laughlin went to Gallup to find out. A school under the microscope for years. And for years, this maintenance man says he's kept his mouth shut. Not anymore. It was standard routine to just, if you came across asbestos, just remove it and get go along with it. Bryce Wohr says he's worked for the Gallup McKinley School District as a maintenance guy for 17 years. He says three years ago at Red Rock Elementary, a pipe broke in the cafeteria. Wohr says a crew went to fix it, but two of the guys stopped when they saw it was covered with asbestos. Two stopped. One, he says, did not. He refused. I refused. His exact words, F it, I'll do it. Roar tells us asbestos went flying into the cafeteria over the food counter during lunch. That caught the attention of a state inspector. Benny Kling, who is now retired from the Environment Department, tells Target 7, Roar's story is spot on. Asbestos was removed from the school during school hours without proper protection, uh, without proper persons being trained, and uh, by contractors who were not licensed or trained to remove asbestos. Those are your findings? Yes. Kling says he turned the case over to the feds. We called the EPA for answers. All right, thank you. But didn't get any. A spokesman with the state environmental department says tests were done at Red Rock, samples taken, but there was no evidence of asbestos. Kling says that's because by then, the insulation labeled as asbestos had already been removed. The school was built in 1966. John Hartog has worked at the school for more than 30 years. For the past 11, he's been principal. Any fear of asbestos being here in this school? I have, I have no fear of asbestos being here. Hartog says four years ago, they found some asbestos in the gym plumbing. He says it's been removed. Hartog maintains, as far as he knows, there was none in the cafeteria. District people, state people came through. They did not find any asbestos whatsoever. He says parents should not be concerned, but one parent is, State Senator George Munoz. He declined an interview but sent out this news release saying parents have never been properly notified. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. For months, we've been checking in with the state regarding the investigation. For months, the state has continued to say the federal government is involved. Now, we have reached out to the feds for comment, but have not gotten 